Hey guys, it's Loving Rush, and today we're going to be doing a live gameplay in the RU251. So without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, so we're on the map Murrow Vonka, it's a standard game. Typically what you're going to want to do on Murrow is pop up to this ridge right here. Now, you really want to do this in a small quick tank, because what's going to happen is Artie is going to click you otherwise. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push up, get the lights, maybe get a couple of shots off, and then very quickly get into cover because I don't really want to get clicked. All right, so who do we have on our team? Well, typically heavy tanks will go to either the one or the two line, uh, one, two, or the nine, zero. That's basically what I meant. Um, so you can't really predict where the enemy's gonna go. However, you can generally say mediums will go to the nine, zero as well. So keep that in mind, expect mediums to be over on this flank. And there you go, that is the RU. He's bounced, and you can see I am sort of just very casually getting eyes here. I'm not really exposing myself to that ISU. I'm just going to sort of auto-aim this guy as I run, because as you can see, if he pokes, he's just going to get wrecked. And that's why you don't poke this ridge, because you're just going to get wrecked. Keeping my speed up so I don't get clicked, and looking at where my team is. So we've got an E75 who really... I don't know what he's doing. What you're gonna want in a heavy tank is for them to be over there. That's where the brawling happens. Unfortunately, he's taking his time um, and that's gonna allow the enemy TDs to set up. So that heavy tank sort of needs to really quickly get over there. For now, as a light tank, it's really important for me just to sort of live. Unfortunately, there's not much scouting I can do because of this, the way the map has been designed is it's very brawly. I'm not gonna go proxy spot people for heavies who can already proxy spot. You can see Artie just hit the dirt there. And what can I do? Well, they've got an E75 and VKB over on the two line. Mm, and I just need to live until the end game. Especially when there's a lot of tank destroyers like this, it's really important for you to survive because tank teams with like tons of tank destroyers end up lasting a long time because both teams just sort of camp. So really when you're looking at the enemy team lineup, if they have a ton of tank destroyers, expect the game to last a long time. It's a panther. Ooh, that is a yag. <laughs> he hit me. I made a mistake there and I stopped using that bush. I assumed he was going to spot me enemies anyways, though. That was a bit of a mistake. I'm going to keep moving. I don't really want to get clicked. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to vision play this yag tiger in the 5100 in the middle. The middle is a really terrible position to put yourself in because it just puts you, you in a crossfire. One thing to keep in mind though, like I'm already on 60% of my hit points. Like I, I've lost a third of my health the second I took one hit. So you're gonna need to be careful, really like cautious for now. Cause like I said, typically in, in uh, unless the enemy is absolutely horrendous, it's gonna last, these type of games last a really long time. There's the Yag. I think he's there, I just can't spot him. He's in this area, I'm sure of it. Okay. Now we are sort of pushing up here and I'm actually going to want to go help them. That is sort of the point in time when scouting becomes useful. However, I'm sort of cautious about spotting for this E75 because, I don't know, <laughs> I saw him play, like I just saw, you know, his decision making when trying to get to the 9-0 and that worries me. I don't know if he's too good of a player. It looks like he's trying to scout here. I don't really, like, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> So I'm just going to sort of chill. It's the E75 who needs to lead the charge. It's his job to take the hits. I'm not going to go take hits for him, especially on a brawling map like this. Unfortunately, it's changed. So scouting has become really impractical lately. He needs eyes, he says. The problem is you have to push up the zero line to get eyes. That's going to allow you to spot the ISU and stuff for camping. I mean, I could go YOLO up, but that would put me in a crossfire, right? And that's going to lose you the game. Now that Yag Tiger is just being let, really, he's not being pressured at all, so. Now that I'm on, <laughs> I'm a one shot for everything. I'm just gonna have to sort of chai snipe for a bit. Normally, that wouldn't happen. Normally, a Yag Tiger isn't able to just waltz up the middle of the map. Um, I would, yeah, that's definitely not the norm. What I want to happen right now is I want us to be able to push this T34 here. And sort it's sort of the E75's job to make that happen. He's got the armor, so I'm going to support him um, and just try to live. Because as you can see, the game is actually, it's sort of close, but not really. 375 just died, I think. One of the enemy team just died. Yeah, he did just die. This guy's blocking my shot. He doesn't really know that. I'm just gonna, I'm forced into a, a very supportive role. As you can see, light tanks lose their hit points very, very quickly. 
Um, and when you've got a gun this powerful, it's really important just to keep it in the game for as long as possible. There you go, the game is evening up. We're starting to lose the one line. That's not really surprising to me, but it's going to be problematic for us. I'm going to chill right here. You can see the C75 is really, really passive. This 50... <laughs> this is ridiculous. <sighs> Stop. <laughs> we just... This guy's ISO'd. We can push him together, but everyone's sort of just... YOLOing. And we do need to push this side, but the problem is our E75 needs to be the guy leading. I'm a one shot. I can't lead. <laughs> if I were to scout right now, that would be throwing the game because in the end game, I'm going to be needed a lot more than I am right now. These guys are so close to each other, they obviously don't need any spotting. To Can you stop? You need. <laughs> okay. The important part of the battle right now is. Oh my fucking god. The important part of the battle right now is these guys right here, but the E75 doesn't seem to know that so i'm just gonna have to try to support him luckily the game is is a tie but honestly this guy could have died here and now is sort of like the point in time where light tanks become a lot better at carrying you're going to notice i'm able to start opening up the map opens up a lot more when there are a lot more dead tanks so i'm gonna be able to kill this yag tiger and we should just be able to go from here He's mad at me because I didn't scout for people he could have proxy spotted. Um, and the main reason you don't really want to go engage the people uh, the way the E75 did is you open yourself up to shots over here and from people at the A3 line. Like, if you want to kill the people who are where this ISU is, you need to push this way. So that way you can control who you're engaging. He just sort of yellowed into them, which is a mistake. So I'm going to load HE. I'm going to go for artillery now and just sort of go from there to be honest they're both their tanks are spotted so i'm gonna want to flank them eventually okay so we've got support i don't really think we're gonna get snapshotted by arty especially if i keep my speed up when you're chasing down arty it's really important that you go uh like sideways to them so they have to bloom their gun more to get shots onto you typically there's an arty tracer so i know where he is now he just shot, actually. Who shot? That was the M40-43. So if I swap the M12, I'm going to want to kill him first because he will be loaded. Oh, there's the M12. Okay, so I'm just going to keep moving. Hopefully I don't get snapshotted. I'm keeping my distance just so it's harder for them to hit me. Okay, he's dead. Now we can kill this guy who's still reloading, probably. So now I'm going to want to flank these uh, AT-15 and the VK over here. They're going to be the biggest threat right now, as well they're, only en they're the only enemy on the team, so we should kill them. He is not looking at us, okay. For 17 meters, he might spot me if he has optics, typically he won't though. I'm going to want to be careful because I am a one-shot for the AT-15. AT-15 has a massive gun arc. In a situation like this, you're going to want to focus down to the guy with the turret and use the uh, TD for cover. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to get behind the AT-15, try not to get rammed, uh, and try to kill this VK. He's the biggest threat, so I'm trying to save this T-25 too. Okay, so the VKB just shot. Okay, this guy's a one-shot, so might as well kill him. And now we can just sort of play ring around the rosy with this guy and spot the VK for Artie. And that's the game. Let's go look at the end plates. Alrighty, so as you can see, that was 9,000 experience on the times 5. 45,000 credits, 9,608. Obviously, that was a win. Mastery Badge first class, 3,000 damage, 4 kills, 1,150 XP. Now, the whole point of this video uh, was to show that just because people say you should be scouting in a light tank doesn't necessarily mean you should. If I had been scouting for that E75 who asked me to... Uh, nothing would have happened it would have been horrible because i was a one shot it just wouldn't have worked he played it really badly um and i played badly taking hits and i would have been able to scout for him if i had had the hit points but the thing is i didn't have the hit points so i couldn't have scouted for him that was unpractical um use your knowledge and the fact that you can think when you're playing this game if you don't think about the actions that you're going to do especially in light tanks you're going to get punished really really hard for it so play to the situation do the best that you can 
scout when you need to, but if it's impractical or unlikely to be successful, you know, any of the above, do not scout in your light tanks because you have a gun for a reason. Your gun becomes way more powerful in the end of the game, and that's when you're going to be able to secure games for your team.